Hi, this is uh, Jason Adams. I want to welcome you to my third sketch podcast. It is August 8th, 2014. And uh, if you are not familiar with the show, it is me recapping the drawings that I did for the week. And I talk about what video games I'm playing, what movies I saw or will be seeing, and what books I am interested in or reading for the week. Those books could be comic books, graphic novels, or like self-help type books. And at the end of the show, I do a sketch in my sketch pad. And usually I talk about stuff that goes on in my life. So that is the premise of the show. And I will leave you with the show itself. So enjoy. Thank you. Here is the recap of the drawings that I did for the week. I am uh, going to start off with the cartoon type drawing that I did. And this is with the muscular type character. I uh, wanted to draw this so I could practice with the uh, uh, brush pen that you see gives this uh, nice effect that you see a lot in uh, comic book drawings. So pretty happy with the way it came out. So that is that. And then moving on to the Zen Tangle drawing for the week. I did this here. This is the first time using uh, shading in a tangle drawing. So that's what that looks like. And for the nature related drawing for the week, I did the rabbit. And this is with marker and color pencil and pen. So this was a good outcome for me. The highlight colors and everything worked out real good. So I'm very happy with the the way that came out and then I started off the week with my realistic type drawing or if you want to call it TV show fan art movie art that's what that is so this is um, Dexter Morgan from the show Dexter so that's how that came out it's all pencil I'm pretty happy with that too. So overall a very good week for drawings. So I wanted to focus on this uh, comic strip that is inside the book. The comic strip is called Little Nemo in Slumber Land. What is interesting about this, uh, this comic strip is that it is numbered in the left hand corner. So it goes from one, two, thirteen. So one through thirteen. And I can only guess that they they numbered the panels like that to pretty much uh, explain to the reader that they needed to read the, the panels in that order. Because it was pretty much brand new to do this style of panels in order like this. Uh, this was uh, published in 1905, so it was pretty new back in back in those days. What I was thinking about doing is creating a newer version of the same strip, but with you know today's artwork and today's dialogue. So uh, that's some, something I was thinking about doing. Um, We'll, we'll see about that. I would only recreate it and make a video of it and uh, pretty much put it up on my website. I wouldn't try to publish it or try to do anything to uh, make money from or anything like that because it's you know already been done. But I just I thought we need to you know do the same type of layout and same you know uh, general 
building design, but with today's uh, new look, you know. So, that is really all I wanted to talk about. Again, it's from this book. This is something I've been uh, looking at uh, mostly this week. To recap the video games and movies that uh, I uh, take an interest in for the week. Uh, nothing is going on as far as uh, video games. I'm just I'm not really feeling it, I guess, for the week. So I haven't played anything. Nothing on the on the phone or nothing on the consoles or anything really. So. I've been a little bit more busy doing uh, labor work, uh, so I just have no interest in, in video games, at least for now. You know, that could change uh, sometime soon. Uh, but as far as movies that I'm going to see, I'm going to see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, a Marvel movie this coming weekend. Uh, I'm going to see it with my brother for his uh, birthday so that should be a lot of fun. I'm going to be going to a new movie theater that has advanced uh, sound system and, and a very big uh, movie screen to see the movie so it should be a lot of fun to see a movie in a different way and to hear it in a different way as well. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the movie, so yeah, looking forward to it. Always going pretty good. I've been working uh, quite a bit doing uh, labor type work. Um, so that's good. It keeps me uh, physically active and, and working a little bit. Uh, I've been trying a lot to help market his company, his construction company. Um, it's a good friend of mine. I did his website and now I do all his uh, advertising to get uh, work for him. So I've been doing that uh, with a little bit of luck. Uh, we started a Facebook campaign to get more people to visit his website and uh, Facebook fan page so it does get a lot of traffic to his uh, website so that is good uh, might be something that I would do for my own business um, if you don't know I own a online print company called One Man Printing it is uh, onemanprinting.com and I do uh, graphic design for print and do the printing itself so that's something I do all from home and I can deliver to anybody around the United States or locally so sort of a selfish uh, plug for my my company but uh, Hopefully I'll, I'll you know, start to concentrate on that soon. Uh, like I said, I'll probably do uh, a Facebook cam uh, campaign myself to get some advertising going and to get some uh, people to visit the website. Uh, but anyways, going back to that uh, work, it's been, it's been keeping me busy. and. Uh, kind of need to learn about uh, various construction type stuff. I don't, I didn't, never had that kind of background, never learned that stuff until now. So it's pretty good so far. Um, what else has been going on this week? Um, really about all. I mean, uh, been listening to a lot of uh, 
podcast uh, on my phone. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of uh, Chris Hardwick. His um, podcast is very entertaining. He uh, interviews a lot of um, celebrities in movies, uh, actors, directors, um, all kinds of people that relate to what he likes and sometimes not. So he talks about a lot of a lot of various stuff about life and, and tries to learn about the actors and their and their past career and what movies they've done or T V shows and so on. So yeah, I've been enjoying that. That's what I tend to listen to when I do my drawings for the week. Um either what Peter Chris Hardwick, uh, his shows the the Nerdist, and so I he he does update quite a bit on on his show. Um, another person I listen to is um, Tim Ferriss. He's the author of the Four Hour Work Week and a Four Hour Chef, and I think four our body. I think that's the uh, the third one he's done, third third book. He is very knowledgeable. He learns he knows a lot of um different languages. He's a good author. Uh, so I, I tend to listen to his podcast. He talks about um, life as well and he talks about uh, pretty much hacking the, the human body, using the hu human body for to do amazing things. Uh, I guess you can say that. Um, so yeah, that's another another person I enjoy listening to. If I'm not listening to podcasts, then I tend to listen to music on Pandora. I usually put in some kind of uh, nerdy uh, music. I mean, I, I will admit that. Uh, I like uh, video game music. I like uh, soundtrack to movies. So if I put in like um, John Williams for a station, that usually comes up with real good music that I like. Uh, So, that's really about all for the rabbit here. It's really, really has big ears. So let's try a, a duck. Well, that's very, very uh, quick sketch, both a duck and a bunny. I know I'm running out of time, so I'll leave you at that. And I thank you for watching and listening to me talk. <laughs> All right, have a good day.